Born in the Bronx, 1933. My father's from Hungary, my mother Romania, Jewish immigrants. It was a matter of chance that they arrived in the U.S. as children and managed to raise a family in New York instead of being swept up into the extermination camps and murdered by the Nazis like millions of others like them in Eastern Europe. That's really what's behind the obedience experiments. The inkling I was chasing. The thing that troubled me. How does civilized human beings participate in destructive, inhumane acts? How was genocide implemented so systematically, so efficiently? And how do the perpetrators of these murders live with themselves? My daughter, Michelle, precocious child, who at this point in the story hasn't yet been born, used to tell the kids at school, my dad's a psychologist, but not the kind who talks to people lying down. He's an experimental psychologist. He does experiments. First, let's determine which of you will be learner and which will be teacher. Teacher. They both say that. No one's caught on. Not a soul. Not the corporate manager, the banker, the plumber, the good humor man. The good humor man was actually vicious. <laughs> Crude mesomorph of obviously limited intelligence. The script has kind of momentum, carries them along. Men only? Every hour. It's getting to be a blur, really. <laughs> so you lead them both, both teacher and learner, into the uh, electric chair. <laughs> Well, uh, we don't call it that, but yes. If you follow me into the next room, please. Here's my home. I think I'd go nuts in this little room all day. <laughs> well, they keep me busy. <laughs> oh, God. I actually have a heart condition. Really? Yeah, it does give you a sort of authenticity, I think, in the part. Yeah. But I think I'm a better actor than I am accountant. It's now the time for the next one. Oh. Is somebody in there? Maybe Alan. Shall we join? Sure. Not to give you, the teacher, an idea of how much shock the learner will be receiving, we think it's only fair that you receive a sample shock yourself. Is that all right? Fair enough. Give your right arm, please. This is the only real shock, right? Mm-hmm. Have you done it? Been shocked like that, literally? Yeah. Yes, it's not pleasant. Ah! Now, if you'll just use the scale here to estimate for me the amount of volts you think you've received in the sample shock. I don't know. You tell me. Well, that was only 45 volts. So go ahead and begin the test. He doesn't have a microphone, but he can hear you. Just speak into the microphone. The rooms are partially soundproof. Are you ready, learner? Continues with robotic impassivity. Courteous to experimenter. Mm. Seems to derive ah. no pleasure from the act itself. Land. 